paycheck. Rod's gambling debt is a little over $40,000. Our biggest problem recently with our marriage has been porn. Ever since high school, I've been addicted. He used to attend strip clubs, he used to look at magazines, and now that there's the internet, pornography became very severe. I am so done. I don't think he's gonna change, and I can't live with it like this. Well, Michelle says her husband Rod has had a long history of addictions and that she and her 12 children have had to live with all of this for many years. Now, we've excused the younger children so we can discuss these adult issues. And at this point, everybody's aware of what the issues are. This has been an open conversation and discussion in your family. Yes, just because I didn't understand at that time that those things should be sheltered from kids. I thought, well, if we're going to get a divorce, I'd because my, my mom was divorced three times, and, or four times, but I, I thought if I raised them and we fought in front of them, at least they would know we were going to get a divorce, and they wouldn't be caught in the dark and wonder what happened. Yeah, well, the reason I ask, because that's 19 years ago, so y'all were involved in this when you were children. Bad idea. Right. Uh, I know so, that now. you know, I'm, I'm sorry that you guys got pulled through all of this at the time, but where do you guys stand on this issue now? You're still concerned. Yeah, still concerned. Um, just because it's been going on for so long, and to continue to see it, it just brings up bat, uh, past hurts. I had to get myself to a place where I was where my confidence was to a place where I felt like I can move on without him. For a long time, I thought I didn't have another choice. I was stuck. I'm 47 years old. I'm not 18 anymore or any other age I was before. I'm not stupid and I know that if, if, that, if I'm not what he wants, then move on. You, then what am I even here for? I, you don't need me. Yeah. So, what, what effect did this have on y'all growing up? Well, as I was growing up, knowing that my dad had a drinking problem, uh, that didn't bother me. I mean, it, I was always proud of him when I saw progress in him as far as all that went. But um, I mean, I always, as a child, it really hurt me to know that I thought my parents were going to get a divorce because um, I knew they would fight and sometimes dad wouldn't be at, around the house for a little while because they had a fight or something. Right, uh-huh, go ahead. Um, I remember growing up a lot, I thought my parents were gonna get a divorce and so I always like thought about which parent would I go with. I don't even know which one I would wanna go with if they split up. So Rod, where are you on this at this point? I mean, are, are you, is she right to be concerned? I mean, are you drinking? Are you gambling? Are you looking at porn? Where are you on these issues? Well, I'm, uh, I'm making progress. The problem is, and I can't even expect her to, to believe me anymore, but I mean, I haven't done a lot of it uh, active. I haven't really had active addictions for a while now, but who knows when something else is gonna pop up. Mm -hmm. Well, how many years sober are you? 22 years without a drink. Yeah. But when he gets stressed out, he'll say, let's just go drink, or should I, I'm just gonna go have a drink. Maybe I, maybe I can drink like a normal person now. And that just makes me like, are you freaking kidding me? You say you're working three jobs to uh, keep this family afloat with 12 and soon 13 children. So you have to work three jobs, you have to create all this money, and then as it turns out, uh, you've blown a lot of money gambling. Then, you know, time in terms of, of drinking, and then you say that he's looking at pornography, and that causes you to feel like, well, what, what about me? Am, am I not enough? Am Absolutely. I inadequate in some way? And